host, Tahira Lama. I'm the CISO and cybersecurity lead for the TLC group of companies. And after I finished my A+, I was actually recruited, and I didn't expect to get a job offer that early, but I was pleasantly surprised that the skill sets that I was picking up in entry-level training were really enough for me to secure my first tech job, which was uh, a headache, and I didn't love it. But it was a great experience, and it really opened a lot of doors for me. And what I learned by that is that tech is so wide as far as how many opportunities there are and what segments there are. So even though I had a job that I didn't necessarily love, I was able to network with other people in tech. I was able to see other job types and I was able to really secure some experience and start building my resume. The biggest question that you should be asking yourself if you're considering a role in technology or even a change in your role is why? Why do you wanna be there? And of course, there's gonna be a financial aspect, but you really wanna think about what motivates you. This is obviously about you and you wanna be in a great place, uh, but who else is it going to affect? Are you doing this for a lifestyle of your family? Are you doing this to uh, make it easier for your children? You know, really make sure that you're passionate about what you're doing and you're enjoying your job. But what we'll talk about and what I'll focus on and help you with today is the how. So my specialty is getting people ready for those big career change moments. And I am a big supporter with certifications as far as what doors they can open and what opportunities they can provide to you. Um, I know personally they were life-changing to me. And I'll take you through a couple examples here. So one of the most popular, one of the most marketable um, certification vendors is CompTIA. We've probably all heard of CompTIA and if you haven't, it is one of those door opening opportunities. And what you're seeing on your screen is specifically a cybersecurity path. So starting with that IT fundamentals, A+, Network+, Plus, so you can learn about what it is that you're securing overall. And then going into the security specific certifications. CompTIA is not the only uh, vendor out there for certifications. There are plenty of them and you see a couple on your screen, but there are even more than that. Now, I don't show you this to pressure you into making you feel like you need to get all of the certifications, but you need to know that there are some very specific needs depending on your pathway and where you're headed in cybersecurity. Some of these may be appropriate and some of them may not be necessary at all. So my specialty here and what I hope to be able to connect the dots for you is to let you know that no matter where you're coming from, whether it's retail, automotive, or a really high-end tech job, you want to take your current and past experience and you want to look at what your career goal is. And we are going to always be looking on how to take the steps in between those two points. So whether it's networking with humans, strengthening your networking knowledge in the computer realm, or training, getting more certifications, and just looking at what your potential is. All of that is what my specialty is, and of course, pairing that with training. And that was a really good presentation. Um, for those, you, you know, you touched on that there are so many different specialisms within cybersecurity, mm -hmm. um, or sorry, information technology, and then you can branch out into cybersecurity. Um, if someone's sort of already in a tech role, or maybe just, you know, maybe in an administrative role, and they're thinking, hmm, I really, this, this interests me. I think this is something that I can do. Mm -hmm. You know, what are your thoughts about, is it possible to actually train for a cybersecurity career while actually still working in and obviously in these times you know everyone's wants to retain employment and income and things so that's a great question because yeah, that's what a lot of people are facing right they're exploring can I actually do this and I'm here to confidently tell you with some calendar management and some self-motivation you are absolutely capable the majority of my students do have a full-time job and they have what we call real life adulting. So they have a family at home, they have hobbies that they still wanna maintain. Um, and even though the timeline might be a little bit slower than a full-time student, it's still going to be something that you can accomplish. It is very feasible. Uh, I would say for somebody who is working full-time, our entry-level certifications are averaging in that two to three three months. So you're capable, to be honest, to pick up between two and three certifications a year and be able to build. So even if you're working laterally with other teams in your current company to get some exposure there as well as studying, or you just want to hit the books, get your certifications, build your resume and fully move to a different industry, you are capable of this. 
Great, thanks. And also, um, uh, you're an accomplished instructor. I'm sure that your students learn loads from you. Um, what are the benefits, you know, because there are so many, um, you know, online self-study sort of um, for IT and cyber um, programs, or people may just be able to access them free, watch a few YouTube videos. You know, really, what is your um, outlook or what is your advice for people who are thinking, you know, should I go with an instructor-led um, training or do the self-study option? I think, um, especially with 2020 being the glorious time of change that it is, uh, you have three solid options to get your training. You can go to YouTube and I do not shy away from telling people if you have experience, that could be a solid resource because you just wanna strengthen some of your knowledge and then head into a testing room. But for those who are not necessarily comfortable or have the experience in IT, I would recommend a more structured formal class because we need to teach you the actual verbiage and some of the best practices and get you used to what you're stepping into. You need to make sure that you're realistic about where your comfort level is with technology. If you have been your family's IT person for years and you just want to know how to prep for a test, then taking some practice exams and getting into the testing environment is probably going to do it, especially for the entry level side. But if you're new to this, it's okay. We're here to help you. Uh, your success is our success as an instructor, uh, but don't be fearful to reach out and make sure that you're signing up for something that's going to include the level of support that you need to be successful in this. You know, generally speaking, um, are cybersecurity rules well paid? I would say yes, and even more so, the potential for growth is absolutely there. Uh, what was really a motivator for me to become a career changer is because I felt like I had hit an income wall, and what I was doing was not going to provide these great opportunities for growth. Um, so just, I actually just pulled it up on my screen. So the average right now in the US for a junior pen tester is about 50 to 60,000. And once you become a full penetration tester working to senior penetration tester, you're looking at that 80 to 100,000. Um, so depending on where you are and your lifestyle needs, you can absolutely have a comfortable life and have a growth path with cybersecurity. There's a class that I would recommend for anybody who is absolutely brand new, uh, whether it be the CompTIA IT Fundamentals or A+, those are both structured to give a, a really good exposure to different students and to different parts of IT. They touch on cloud, they touch on security, networking, um, even a little bit into programming. So you're able to not only see the parts that really were boring to you that you don't necessarily want to pursue, um, but you'll see how cybersecurity is foundationally working in a home environment versus an enterprise environment and see where that overlap is. You might want to become a cloud security architect. You might want to become a vulnerability analyst. Uh, you may want to look at securing networks. So it's going to give you uh, that foundational knowledge to know where your pathway is going to lead and be able to uh, start exploring exploring in a more focused way so that you didn't necessarily have to go through and go from one thing to the next thing to the next thing and not really be making any progress. I'm a lifelong learner myself. So, um, you know, I've come from working on a help desk, one of my very first jobs in IT. Um, and then um, now I do strategy for cybersecurity, uh, network design, uh, when it comes to architecture and things like that. Um, and I'm always learning. That's one of the great things. If you're someone who wants to wake up every day and think, oh, it's something new, or, you know, something's happened, what can we uh, learn about it? Uh, then IT and cybersecurity are great professions to get into. Share with us one of your uh, accomplishments that you are most proud of. I would have to say uh, recently, and I want to start with a thank you to the TLC group for being a sponsor for this project, but uh, myself and a group of other incredibly diverse instructors uh, came together to create a youth IT course to expose um, our high school and young adult audience to different parts of technology, including cybersecurity, so that we can build a really strong workforce and prepare people for success for these career uh, paths and 
and be able to really feel confident moving into the workforce at a young age and know that uh, they've got amazing options in front of them. So I love the course. Uh, we have instructors from every background, both um, diverse in their personal and culture, as well as their IT experience. And we actually have a current cohort. So we have students from all over the United States that are uh, going through the content and studying for their very first security, or I should say IT overall uh, exam and certification. So very proud of our instructors, of our group, um, but mostly of our students because they're working hard. And again, really big thank yous to the TLC group because y'all have been instrumental in bringing that content together and being able to uh, put it in front of as many students as possible. Thanks. Uh, it was a pleasure to work with you, you and your team, Antoinette, um, because uh, the TLC group, one of our pillars is empowerment. You know, we believe that people should be able to reach the, the pinnacles of success according to their interests. So if even one young person gets inspired to go into cybersecurity um, as a result of this course that your um, team is, uh, your company is presenting, I think that's awesome. It's a great accomplishment and definitely something uh, that you should be proud of.